Funding to help the Charleston County Sheriff's Office hire employees has been put on hold. Sure has. This as Charleston County Council works to determine exactly where the nearly $4 million they need to do so will come from. News News Riley Benson sat down with Sheriff Kristen Graziano to learn more. The $3.8 million originally approved by Charleston County Council back in December hit a snag Tuesday night as Council figures out where the money will come from. Regardless, Sheriff Kristen Graziano says she's confident Council will get the money to the Sheriff's Office to help it stay competitive. I've been reassured by Council that, that uh, the funding is there. It's just, it's confusing. It sends a confusing message to 800 employees right. that they think now all of a sudden that this, this funding is going to be taken away, and it's, it is not. Chef Graziano says she asked council for the money in December to raise wages and make the agency more competitive in hopes of attracting more deputies and jail staff. Tuesday's failed vote, just a step in the process. They absolutely will. There's no doubt that they will um, figure out where it's going to come from, but uh, yesterday's vote is not going to slow us down. It just it, it's disappointing because it's a distraction. Since council approved the funding back in December, Sheriff Graziano says their agency has been able to hire more staff with 30 deputies to be sworn in over the next two weeks. She says it's helped to attract much needed help. This is the first time uh, in, in the last six or seven years that I can remember that we're finally below triple digits uh, for, for uh, vacancies in the jail. For now, the sheriff's office is using its money to hire people and pay wages. Sheriff Graziano says money from the county will help push the process forward. Any unspent money from the $3.8 million would then go back to the county. You know, I appreciate the support that the, the five members gave us in, in December that voted to do this. Now let's, let's go to the finish line. Let's get this to the finish line. Now, Sheriff Graziano expects council to work out some of the details where that money will come from before putting it back before council for another vote. In Charleston County, Riley Benson, count on two.